How can you leave your house with no plan of getting home? You wouldn't really have needed to go to all the lectures. I say is I quite got a lot. Don't go out if you can't get back. You know that's mad. You actually know that's mad, right? <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's good. First of all, make sure you subscribe, like, subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, put a grind, you know how it is. Um, but yeah, today I'm going to be talking about uni hacks. Hacks that I sort of wish I knew before I started uni that really helped out. So obviously I lived at uni this year, second year, and then first year I commuted. So I'm gonna touch on both um, things that help out with both. So first of all, if you um, live at uni, so you'll be paying rent, the first thing I suggest is you get your finances in order before you even think, okay, I'm gonna move out to uni. Can you afford it? I've already done a video about rent and whatnot um, and how my nana tries to kill me so watch that one um, which goes into a bit more depth but you need to think um, can you afford the rent and obviously once you know you can um, afford the rent and all that take the rent money if you have two bank accounts that's perfect and it works a lot better um, take the money out of your main account the main account that you use for day-to-day -day purchase you don't want to see the rent money as soon as your SFE comes into the student finance get rid of it get rid of it take the money out if you don't have another account if you trust a parent or someone else to keep that money for you then take it aside because <laughs> once you start dipping into your rent money that's when it gets locked also if your bills are paid separately um, so I have a different account than my rent and all my bills come out of that account and then my main account is kind of just for like spending and other things um, but if you can separate your finances do that and it will really help you out um, before you make the mistake you might think oh I'm not gonna mm. and then one direct debit comes out and mm, somebody can't pay their rent <laughs> but no like try and separate all your money out again to do with money meal prepping so you can do this obviously if you live at uni this is most applicable if you live at home and you make your own food again you need to start this um cooking in batches you might cook i don't know a meal and then make it last like three days so that's three days worth of lunches things like that but always bring in food especially if you're trying to reduce the amount you're spending bring your food and bring snacks so obviously failing to prepare to parents food, food on campus is dead and it's expensive buy and shop in audi i feel like most you need to have like an audi you know, audi is the cheapest and also asda is pretty cheap as well you're just gonna get a lot of food for a lot cheaper have freezer food there just like a pizza that you can just put in the oven or like chips and something that you can put in the oven because you might want to be thinking oh i'm not going to get takeaway but obviously sometimes you feel like you want it and it's just there so it's really easy and where oh i just accidentally spent 20 pounds on pizza because there's nothing there like you don't want to do that so prepare yourself in that way also in terms of shopping and stuff if you don't drive and you're at uni and you're quite close with your housemates a thing um a good thing to do would be to um get online groceries and then get it delivered especially like sainsbury's is really good with it Ocado, sick i think you get like 12 or 15 pounds off your first 60 pound shop um sainsbury's if you have a nectar card again get all the store cards nectar i think you get like 12 pounds off when you spend like 60 and they like i did i i kept getting those like 12 pounds off which is so good um and then deliveries what like two pounds obviously if you don't drive and you want to do a big shop split it between your housemates and then all do like a grocery order everyone put in what they want in the basket and then do it between you because it's just so much easier so that's an idea obviously in this corona situation i don't know how delivery slots are but it's definitely worth looking into but, yeah. deleting apple pay me and apple pay <laughs> our relationship yeah <laughs> delete your apple pay and these tips like that i've covered um in the finance part they're more if you're really trying to like stop spending a lot of money on like food and stuff um delete apple pay get rid of it apple pay is enemy of progress especially if you live at uni you're two minutes from uni what like it's not a thing of oh but i need it just in case but do you need it? You, don't, you can actually delete Apple Pay and get rid of it because it's enemy progress and it's gonna stop, it's gonna keep you spending money. So delete all that shit. Delete all that shit! Delete all that shit! Another thing in terms of like money, food, stocking up, um, buy your alcohol at the beginning of the term. If you can buy alcohol at the beginning of the term, you can get to a Costco or just buy it in bulk when there's always like deals, there'll be like three pounds or something off like bottles. So when you have a bit of money, most likely at the beginning of the term, maybe get like a few bottles that you know okay i'm gonna use this for the next three few pre's so that's just there and then also i forgot to mention this buying in bulk tip also applies for things like water 
toilet roll, washing detergent, washing up liquid and those sort of things if you do have space in your uni accommodation. And then also when it comes to pre's, when you're going to pre's with your friends, don't take the whole bottle, don't do it don't do it so if you now you've went and you spent 30 pounds on one cute little Ciroc and you're like yeah got my Ciroc and then what you've done like your little pre's pre's at home by yourself and then you now take the bottle and then it's finished in one motive nah 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 if you're buying your little cute little Ciroc you better make that shit stretch you better make it stretch so I'd recommend either pouring out how much you think you're gonna drink into like another bottle and mixing it already so it's already mixed and that's what you're gonna have till you go out or somehow just taking some of it but like don't take the whole thing because someone will want some someone like you're gonna have to be like that because if you want your alcohol to stretch then you can't be just taking it and um also in terms of like motives and events if you're unsure i feel like i made this mistake if there's like a motive that's coming up and you're kind of like mm, i don't know like my friends are kind of i don't know if people are going or not I'd recommend getting the early bird ticket. The early bird ticket is usually like three or four pounds. Cause a lot of the time, like when it comes out, like people are kind of just like, mm, most events. And then like nearer people aren't gonna go. And then that's when the ticket will now be 20 pounds, 15, or it will sell out. Like if once you see it as early bird, three, four pounds, just buy it. And then if you don't want it, it's kind of an L, but not as much. But yeah, definitely get the early bird if you're unsure. Don't go out if you can't get back. Don't go out if you can't get home don't go out if you can't get home please this is like a lifetime thing as well there's grown ass people not at uni that do this how can you leave your house with no plan of getting home please make it make sense because somebody needs to explain this shit to me how how are you getting home and you just think oh yeah like this boy oh we need to find a boy that's gonna give me a lift you know that's mad you actually know that's mad right please make sure what you can you should only ever be stepping out of your house if you have a way of getting home because please make it make sense like plan your way back in terms of like Hatfield so it's either most of our events are at the forum which is like in Hatfield anyway so it's not that far um but there's things in Watford you need to think okay like there's a coach there and back but if I miss that coach do I have the peas to get uber back you need to be thinking okay like second plan like do I have the money to do that because Han don't be that girl don't <laughs> and half the time I won't even nah 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 don't get yourself in that situation if you don't have a method of getting home don't don't go out you're just gonna have to take the L again in terms of like finances you have student discount on most things get uni days if you don't have it already um just put your uni in and you get student discount on most things if you're unsure places or um websites ask do you guys use student discount because you end up actually saving a lot of money I save quite a lot of money with your discount also get a rail card if you travel between like uni home and all of that quite a lot on train get a rail card i think get 30 percent off um but yeah there's a lot of things to get you a discount on and you don't know until you ask so make use of that again place like super drug if you have a beauty card 10 percent off sometimes i'll do 20 like this why wouldn't you you know you know it's just lit so yeah this is in terms of uni so what i'm gonna say is like the actual union learning I'm not going to say go to all your lectures because you don't actually need to do that. You actually don't. I've basically, I've got a first this year, so, and I don't go to all my lectures, so, but I'll do a video on that. Um, but yeah, like if you're, if you really must miss the lecture, either read it, try to catch up on it or go to the tutorial because the tutorial more time is more useful than the lecture. Do you know what's actually a quick the quickest easy way and it's kind of a bit lazy but it's kind of not if you can't you're not really going to lecture and stuff and you don't understand something there's just specific things you don't understand email the lecturers and ask because more time like they actually really like want to help you and it's a thing of people are like oh my god a whole 9k what ways that's what the 9k is there for like make use of that before the deadline as well a lot of them will do like drop-in sessions and stuff where you can go and see them do the drop-in session if you're if you're gonna do anything if you miss your lectures and you don't really turn up to classes go to the drop-in please because it's one-on-one one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one, and they're gonna give you specific direct feedback as to how you can pass and they're the ones that are gonna mark it do something i said it what like why wouldn't you like honestly like that you need to be smart with it this is what i'm saying like you don't necessarily need to work very very hard obviously work hard but you need to work smart as well like in terms of that like make use of do like independent not independent in terms of working smart got high on a lot of my courseworks through it's not necessarily i'm like i'm good at, at like uni but i'm not like 
amazing and the thing is I feel like the key thing for me has been read the mark scheme when i say read the mark scheme i mean read it and understand it and as you're doing your work you should have the mark scheme right next to you this is like mark scheme is your handbook to do the essay trust me that's all you really need to do in my opinion use the mark scheme and then go to the drop-ins and honestly you you wouldn't really have needed to go to all the lectures but let me shh let me not encourage people not to go to their lectures but like you have to be smart about it rather than necessarily working like the hardest but you think about it, you've got to give them what they want they have made that mark scheme and they're the ones that are going to mark it so why wouldn't you just follow it another thing in terms of uni work don't tell your friends when you're going to the library yeah if you're going library to do social club like a lot of people in do you have library like to do then cool oh, i'm going library because what are you going to do you're going to both go there or your group is going to go there and you're going to sit and do fuck all so please go by yourself just no okay tonight i'm actually gonna like bang work let me just go quietly just go and do your work don't you don't have to tell your friend because it's it's a waste of time like where you could have just bang out all that work and then you can go at different times to your library do social club once your work is done another thing is to use the software available to you so again this is part of your 9k you gotta really utilize the 9k <laughs> um a lot of unis have free software my uni uni of hearts you get software free so you get obviously the microsoft office online first of all so that's another tip if you don't really want to buy it i bought it because i bought it before uni and um, buy the package they do that for free anyway online so microsoft all the like office word powerpoint um <clears throat> all of that so you get all that for free and it's online and also if you don't know once you have that you can then get can basically get the word app on your phone and then you can have it on like all your um devices so you can have it on your phone if you have an ipad um obviously your laptop as well like when you log in online which is like so handy as well because it's, it's kind of like a google docs type thing if you know about google docs um but yeah apart from that my uni gives you photoshop and adobe all the adobe things for free so if you go to new parts you get photoshop we get it for free <laughs> um but obviously if you want to know how to like log in and stuff just message me but yeah it was actually my friend that told me i was like because i saw them doing like a logo and i was like how are you doing your logo and they're like yeah you know you get photoshop for free i was like <laughs> but yeah i get photoshop premiere pro um i think i get after effect um all of that for free so a banner for youtube i made that using photoshop free from the uni because i was never going to pay for photoshop obviously if you're not even like a media or art student you wouldn't know like i do business but like i found it out for a friend so make sure you find out like what um softwares and stuff your uni uses which is really good also another kind of softwarey thing is sconal it's this um site called sconal i'll put the spelling of it here sconal i think that's how you say it and basically what this does is you apply for this account and it basically gives you um access to any other university library so i obviously go to hertfordshire uni but i've got like a card for university of bedfordshire so i've been to their library as well library if you're going to see friends if you like if your uni is quite far from home and go to like a uni library that's near at home but like it's just really really helpful um and useful to have like you can go to any uni library which is great but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video it was just a quick little video on my tips and tricks and hacks um i'm not sure if i've covered everything but if you have any specific questions don't be afraid to message me on my instagram which will be down below um or leave a comment down below i'll be happy to help and i'll definitely reply um and yeah i will catch you guys in my next one don't forget to comment like subscribe to put the grind in. but yeah bye guys you blessed off, hey, yeah, let's have a sex talk, huh? Got a big boy, then pull it out, hey, can you make it feel like the first time, huh? How